Still preliminary. What did he say, Randy? Poison. Some kind of strychnine. Simple and effective. Anybody could have made it. Couldn't he have tasted it? Port is a pretty heavy drink, isn't it? It's really strong. He wouldn't taste it in that. Captain, they need the body. Ian. This was meant for me. Isn't there, but for the grace of God. This was meant for me. The grace of God. Captain, I'm really so sorry. He was only 38 years old, right? Was he married? No, I think they were separated. No, they're back together. I just talked to Jenny. They got two little girls, twins. Just the card that came with the bottle. Yeah. Nobody saw who delivered it. It was sitting at the front desk. Anybody could have dropped it off there. I'm so sorry. It was my idea for the gift exchange, Secret Santa's. I just... Alice, you can't blame yourself. Well, I just woke up John De Silva. He owns the body shop. He says they never send gifts or liquor. He offered to come down and take a poly, but it feels like a dead end. Whoever sent it knew you did business with them. That, that, that narrows it down, right? Mm. Exclusive part supplier for the SFPD. It's on all their ads. Anybody could have seen it. Okay, let's get to it. I've uh, narrowed it down to five possible suspects. People who may have had a grudge, uh, people you arrested. It was Frank Prager. Yes, sir. Frank's on the list. He's number one. Who's Prager? A year ago, a captain shot and killed a bank robber named Mike Prager. Frank's his brother. A few months ago, he tried to settle the score. He came at me in a parking lot. He got off five rounds, and he missed. Got away. Disappeared. And it looks like he missed again. All right. Why don't we each take a name? Lieutenant, you're wasting your time. I'm telling you, it's Frank Prager. All right, how about this? How about we split up into two teams? Your team gets Prager, my team will take the rest of the list. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Let's see. What are you doing? I'm picking my team. I'll take, uh... I'll take Monk. No, I'll take Monk. Okay, uh, I'll take Natalie. Oh, I can't. Julie's waiting for me at home. Fine. Um, I'll take, uh... You'll take Robbins. He is back here at noon. I'll take Robbins. Let's go. Four months ago, it was a Tuesday night. I came out of a bar, 2 a.m. They took my key, so I'm, I'm walking home. I was alone. I was pretty toasted. That street light was on, because I could still see. And he was waiting. He was by... There was a big black van here. He was waiting behind it. Uh, must have been here all night. He steps out. I'm standing right about where you are now. I knew who it was right away. It was Frank Prager, and he wanted me dead. I could see it in his eyes. He aims a Glock 17 in my head, caps off five rounds, and then, then he disappeared until last night. He's only 12 feet away. 
with a street light behind him is not a hard shot. You said he was a veteran special ops? Yeah. Maybe he was as toasted as me. Maybe it was a miracle. Maybe it was. And they just left the bullet holes there. Well, it's probably good for business at this place. It adds to the mystique. But this pattern does not look random. Two, one, two. He had a Glock 17. He could have fired 20 rounds. He only squeezed off five. Two, one, two. Monk, it doesn't matter. He's given up on guns. The guy's graduated to strychnine. It's a different MO. Well, he's special ops. Remember, those guys know 100 different ways to kill somebody. Look, Prager wants me dead. I'm the guy that shot his brother. Frank, there is a clinic next to the church. They have drugs. They have chemicals. Did you have access to the storage room? Um, I mean, I didn't have a key or anything. But it would have been easy enough to break in. I didn't poison anybody. I'm not a killer. Oh, right. What about our last date in the parking lot four months ago? I wasn't trying to kill you. You can't be serious. All right. I thought about it. When I got there, I couldn't. I didn't want to become my brother. The last minute, I decided to send you a message. A message? Oh, my god. Captain, the pattern. It was M. M for Michael. Yeah. It was an M. How could you miss it? Oh, uh, why? Well, how, how was I supposed to know that was the letter M? This guy's the best detective in the free world. He didn't know that was an M. Why, you couldn't use a spray can like everybody else? Oh, for God's sake, a message. I just wanted you to think about what you did. Michael was a good kid who got screwed up. Wait, you, you think I don't think about your brother? I think about your brother every damn day of my life. It was him or me. And it still eats me up. I don't need an M on a wall to remember something like that. No cop does that. Get him out of here. Let's go. God, Captain, you gotta read this. This is from the journal he kept while he was in that church. He feels terrible about what he did. Look at this one part. It made me cry. He can't see it. Yeah, no, I know, Natalie. I'm sure I, he's not the guy, all right? OK, moving on. Lieutenant, you said there were four other suspects who might have had a motive. Actually, we struck out. One's deceased, one's in the hospital, and uh, two are back in prison. Okay, so it wasn't Frank Prager. It's nobody on your list. Who sent me that bottle of wine? And will they try again? To kill you, I mean. I know what you mean, Lieutenant. That is the hot gift this year. There's the Cadillac of first aid kits. I'm talking about 100 feet of gauze, five different ointments, and a tourniquet. Now that tourniquet. Okay, that's great. We're gonna look at that later because this is from both of us. <laughs> Careful though, it's fragile. Oh. Oh no. Oh. It's alive. It's a living thing. Is it going to die? Well, not for a long, long, long time. But it will die eventually. It's a friend. A friend it's will a die. little friend to a keep you company. Dying friend. Look, look at it. It's just twitching. It's turning left, then it swims right. It's zigzagging. Can't we train it? Yeah, we can train it to swim clockwise. And I can show you how to feed this. Oh, oh, oh okay. Wait, wait, wait. Stay there. It's okay. I'll get it. It's I'll get okay. I'll, my new broom. Wait. <laughs> okay, let's see it. Get the 
Merry Christmas, Alice. May we come in? So what's going on? A monk thinks that he knows who tried to kill me uh, during the Christmas party. I thought it was Frank Prager. No, it wasn't Prager. In fact, it wasn't anybody. Nobody tried to kill the captain. That was a trick to throw us off track. Terry Chasen was the target from the beginning. Alice, we know you and Terry were involved. We've got phone records, credit cards. You were together for about six months. Seven. Seven months. Was it because he went back to his wife? That's why you killed him? Alice, we know how you did it. The Christmas gift exchange was your idea. It was easy to make sure that the captain picked Terry's name. Yeah, I remember. I was the last one to choose, and there was one name left. The day of the party, you brought a poison bottle into the office. You dropped it off at the front desk. It was addressed to Captain Stottlemyre. And you know I don't drink port. And at some point, probably during the party, you snuck into the captain's office and you stole the gift that he had brought in for Terry. When the captain couldn't find it, you suggested replacing it with the bottle, the poison bottle. It was like a magician doing sleight of hand. You had everybody looking the wrong way. It was. Brilliant. Excuse me. Alice. Alice, where's the poison? You know, if you throw it away, we'll find traces of it. You know that. It's in the basement. How did you know? Natalie. This is the card and the envelope. It came with the whisk broom, which, by the way, I've been using. It really is fantastic. But the card is a little too big. You see, you had to fold it over. This card came with the poison bottle. It's too small. Ellis, you mix them up. I mix them up. <laughs> and I'm usually so organized. I couldn't. I just couldn't live without him.